I was wondering this with the Texas Rangers. Last year, I would say the breakout player or most improved player, the guy that nobody saw this happening was Nathaniel Lowe being the silver yeah. slugger in the American League at first base, a premium offensive position. Uh, Lowe last year batted 302 with 27 home runs, 76 RBIs, uh, and 74 runs scored. I ask you guys this. Who is the 2023 Nate Lowe of the Texas Rangers. It doesn't have to be the exact numbers. Obviously, you can pick a pitcher. Who do you think is going to surprise us? And when we get to August, September, go, wow, I I never thought, or, hey, look at me. I thought he would uh, be this good when nobody really had expectations of this. Well, I, I know you say Nate Lowe, but the pitcher version of that last year was Martin Perez. You know For what? Sure. You might be right. I might be wrong. I mean, it might no, be. No, no, no. Both of them had That would had be a tough pick, though. Like, what? If you had to pick, because I'm sorry I forgot Martin Perez. If you had to pick, which guy would you pick had the bigger... Martin Perez. Okay. I thought he was... Because he we had a entire history yeah. of Martin Perez being m- mid, right? Yeah. Even the when we- they signed him one year, was it $4 million last year? I think that is year? correct. Like, no, like, when you sign a one year for... Like, thank God, $4 million. Can you believe I'm about to say this? But when you get one year $4 million, nobody really wants you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy I'm saying that? It but is. You're, you are getting paid about... Four million dollars less than kind of what a number four starter would get paid on the free agent market. Maybe even six million less. Like if you're an, if you're a established, like he's a number four. He's not even a number five. You're probably getting ten million a year. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Don't do it. Don't say to Grom. That's definitely going out on a limb. Josh, what? That is Jacob to Grom. I'm gonna say Josh Smith. Is in left field. going to be the breakout player. He will win the left field job outright. And pretty much be the guy. Yep. That's awesome. And what would you say his breakout numbers will be? If you're picking Ooh, him, what okay. would you kind of give maybe his batting average or on base or whatever? You can pick the numbers that you think are going to be impressive. Do you think he could score 100 runs for this I'm going to say 250 batting average. That's th- above average. I know no, it is. 320 on base and... 79 runs. Okay. I'm trying to, because I feel like... like I'm looking up real quick, just uh, Smith last year, just to kind of give people an idea. He played in 73 games, 213 at-bats. He had 23 runs scored last year. Obviously, he didn't even play, you know, half a season. Yeah. Uh, he was a 197 batting average. Better uh, on base percentage than I think with a 197, a 307 on so base percentage. So maybe I percentage. need to up that uh, on base percentage. But the runs, that would be more runs than Lowe got this past year. Now, Lowe obviously surpassed him in a number of other, yeah. would obviously beat him in a number of other yeah. categories, but that's what I'm going to go with. I like your pick. And here's something that I don't know if they're going to change or not. Josh Smith came up and was pretty good. Now, everybody's going to deal with adversity at a major league level for the first time, for the most part. Sure. I get there's a few guys that don't, but... I think from what I understand, they told Josh Smith at the major leagues, as he's having some success, we need you to have more power here. So it was a mistake. I I don't, I believe it's a mistake. Maybe the Rangers don't believe. Maybe they're like, look, we don't care if you bat 197. We want 24 home runs. Right. I would rather him bat 250 with a 330 or better on base percentage and hit 10 home runs or eight home runs because he's going to be batting most likely eighth or ninth in your lineup. If you look at the lineup, if you know that Simeon's batting first, Seager second, Lowe and Adolis are batting third and fourth, and then Josh Young will be mixed in in the middle there. And you're like, this guy needs to get on base. So when Simeon and Seager get on, get back up to bat, when the lineup runs through, I want those guys guys having RBI opportunities. I just need you to get on base. I don't need you to drive in runs. I'd love for you to, but if you get on base yeah. and give my best two hitters RBI opportunities. Then you're doing your job. Yeah, that's that's how you build a lineup, and I think Bochi understands those things. My pick was not the most, is Received. not one of the popular ones on the fan text. They have two other, maybe three other people in mind. And I Boring. think two of them are two that I'm trying to debate between, Kevin, because okay. last year I said it would be the year of Leoti. And last year, Leody had a really good season. Like he had, he and Mike, you know, I've been kind of like monitoring this guy for a few years now because I was like his defense, and Mike was like, "Yeah, but he can't hit." And I was like, "But his defense." He was like, "But you kind of want to be able to hit in the major leagues." And I was like, "Okay, all right, fine." And then last year, he starts off pretty good. Like things yeah. went really well for Leody Tavares last year. But I am willing 
to gamble mm -hmm. that we are going to go with speed in the outfield oh. and that being on base will matter and having our center fielder and our left fielder as two really fast options is going to be a deal. I think that Bubba Thompson is going to win the left field spot and have a left field. You both pick left field and have a different woo! people, a 35 stolen base season this year and hit around 260. So I just want to point out the enthusiasm for those two selections, Corey. These are four fan texts back to back to back to back. 512, Bubba Thompson from the 682, hopefully Bubba Thompson from the 940. This is the year of Leodi, and from Bam. the 682, Leodi takes the next step. And those are all consecutively. So th I, those are two people that fans are like, come on. So here's Leodi Tavares. I don't have uh, just first half, second half, because he came up in June. So remember, in April and May, he wasn't even in the major leagues. Yep. But when he came up in June, he batted 289. In July, he batted 341. In August, he batted 247. In September, he batted 173. And then in October in 13 at bats, he batted 308. His last 30 days in 79 at bats, he batted 190. People weren't paying attention then because it was Cowboys time. Yeah. And I wonder so, how, how much he was paying attention, My, in my opinion. I think that. Because he stunk. This is going to be interesting for Leoti and Bubba Thompson, as Bubba Thompson and Leoti, I think, are going to challenge each other a little bit in center field with Leoti having the advantage starting Monday. Leoti, it's your job to lose. See, I don't think you, you present it to him that way. Like, I'm sure. Like Donnie Coxstein would say, you don't want to present somebody, even though we say that, we don't say it to him. Like, it's your job to lose because that's a negative con connotation. Like, hey, this is your job. You got it. Cool. And then I guess you got to also put on there, though, you are competing for this job, too, because what happens in spring training should matter because Leoti hasn't done enough yet to me to guarantee he's my center fielder no matter what happens in spring training. And who have we left out so far? Josh Young. Who else have we left Ezekiel out? Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel okay. Duran from the 214. Duran hits 265 with 21 home runs and 74 RBIs. That's their breakout from the 972. What about Duran from the 682? Duran wins left field. And so back to back, Duran, Duran. Yes. Get it? <laughs> yes, it's I do. Group. They sing songs. Did you think I was going to come undone? I don't know what that means. Yeah, That's I, a Duran, Duran song. I don't know any of their songs. We're just living in an ordinary world. Okay. Well, you know, what's interesting is there's a lot of left. Like the, whip it good? The, the tough thing is, is I wonder this, how long will it take for the Rangers to decide who their left fielder is? Because I don't think it'll be out of spring training. I think it'll be this rotational thing uh, in April and maybe even into May. Do you think and really, Bochy by, wants to do that, though? Like, no, I, but I think he has to. Okay, I think you right. have to give guys chances, right? You can't just say... Well, you batted 420 in in spring training. Nobody <laughs> nobody can compete for this because if you come out your first 10 games and you bat 150, you know you're like, hey, it's I know it's only 10 games, but I gotta we gotta see. I'm hoping though by mid May, and maybe that's too long for a lot of people, but by mid May, whether it's Josh Smith, whether it's Ezekiel Durant, whether it's Bubba Thompson, whether it's somebody else that somebody has established themselves as. We, he's playing the majority of the time in left field. Yeah. And, and that's the hope. Because you don't really want just a rotational left fielder with three guys for with, the season. I know we don't have a little bit of time here. But with that, though, Mike, Zeke, Mike, his trade value might be as an infielder. And you're going to try and work him so much in the outfield that maybe his trade value doesn't stick around. And he... Maybe he's never going to be your left fielder, but he could be a good infielder for somebody else. That's my big concern with trying to play that game. Also, what do you think about the way he said outfield? It sounded normal to That's me. That's outfielder? No, you said outfield. Outfield. And it was just interesting to me.